Okay, I'm back working on the belly cast. I've had a couple of people ask me about it, so I figured I'd try to go live again um, to show you what I was going to do to the top. Get my gloves back on. Uh, this stuff sets a lot quicker than the other one. I already mixed it up, but this is the um, art plaster. So it's thinner than the Ultra Cal, and it's the same type of thing. You mix it up like pancake batter. The inside is set uh, with the Ultra Cal. It looks really good. Um, very sturdy. It's now like, I don't know, seven or eight pounds. Kaden. No, I cannot. My toddler running around. Um, okay, so I put a little bit right here so far to fill in this little hole. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, adding this. Mommy's working. Okay, pretend that I moved my car, honey. I'm going to try and hold this while I'm doing it because I don't have anywhere to set my phone while I'm working. So I'm going to splash a little more water in here because it's a little thicker than I want it to be. Mix this up and then I'm going to just apply it by hand and just spread it around. Kaden, don't you dare touch this. Mm -hmm. I can't touch that. Because it's concrete. Concrete? Yeah, you don't put this on your hands. What, why, why do you need that concrete? Because I'm smoothing this out and making it look pretty. Okay, go play. So I'm just going to smooth this on all over this. There's no technical way to do it. No rhyme or reason of where I'm putting it first. Because I'm just going to put it everywhere. And then I'll end up probably putting a second coat in some places like here where it was just really, really indented. I want it to be really round and really smooth. Because this stuff is just not, it doesn't hold, if you can even see it. One of these spots earlier was lifting up on me when I was sanding. See, this won't hold. So you're gonna wanna cover that up and make it sturdy. But this stuff you have to work quick with because it sets pretty fast. But it's sandable, so if you slap it on there and it's kind of bumpy, don't worry about it because you can smooth it out with this light, you know, fine grit sandpaper. And I got some of my Ultra Cal on the front even. I went around and I sanded it as best as I could. You can see I got it on the front here. Um, so it's not sharp and hurting me. I ripped through a pair of gloves doing it. Um, but I'm going to cover over that with this so that it's nice and smooth and paintable. It's okay, bud. But as you can tell, like, see how quick this is setting. It's already starting to turn into paste. I want to say something. Say something then, buddy. It's this, but I'm just playing with it. So it's just the kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same concept as when you first cast. You just kind of shove it around and get it all over. So I can't get to these little nooks and crannies with my one hand. So I'll get this on as smooth as I can and then I'll go back uh, without the phone in my hand and fix it. Kaden, stop please, you're making too much noise. This is what it's like to work from home and not be able to do anything without noise in the background. <laughs> So this stuff is almost set in here, so got a little bit more working time. And I'm just covering the entire thing in a super thin layer, pushing it around and smoothing it down. And then once this cures in the container, I can crack it together and then it'll just fall right out. Because I mixed my Ultra Cal in there. And I just cracked the container back and forth and it fell right out and I was able to use it again. But this is working perfectly, exactly as I wanted it to. It's already starting to solidify, so it's a very fast working material. So if you Hi. did somebody's, um... Stop, please. Stop. Stop. 
if you did somebody's belly cast, um, you know, it would dry that night, and then the next day you could go ahead and cover it over. You could even do a thin layer of this on the inside, because it's more accessible than Ultra Cal. Ultra Cal you have to get from specific stores. But it's going on exactly as I thought it would, and it looks really good so far. Um, that's about, I think, all I'm going to get out of this container now. It's going to be crusty. But I'll do another batch, maybe another coat or two. Apparently I've got a motorcycle in the neighborhood. Um, and then it'll be perfect, and I'll be able to sand this and make it look really pretty. And I, as you can see right here, I trimmed this down too. Um, I could probably sand that a little bit better to get it a better shape, um, but it's way better than it was. So hope that helps you guys that ask me, um, and then I'll come back after I finish this.